want to talk to you a little bit about logarithms. Uh, to change from a logarithm form to an exponential form, we're talking about this being the base of the log. You can think of it as being the base. It's subscripted. It's, it's lower. So the base of the log is like the base of the exponent. The answer to a log is always the exponent needed to make that happen. So 5 raised to the second equals 25. That's the meaning of a log. A log means the exponent necessary to get this number with this base. Okay, so let's say you were doing log base 6 of 36. The answer to that log would be 2. 6 squared is 36. Let's say log uh, base 2 of 8. 2 to what power is 8? So it's 2 to the third. Now, if you were doing log base 2 of 7, 2 to what power is 7 is not going to work out quite as easily. Just uh, It's not going to be even. So you'll need to use your calculator. We have a change of base rule that does that. We say the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. That ratio will work out to give you the decimal approximation. It's not going to be perfect because it's an irrational number, but it will give you a, a decimal 2.8 that goes on and on, but we'll round it to whatever uh, place value we're supposed to round to. So approximately 2.8. Now, if you're doing log base tens, those are directly on your calculator. A base ten is actually understood uh, when you hit the log button. It means base ten. So sometimes you don't even see that base ten. This log 100 should equal 2. So you can check that on your calculator. That means 10 to the second is 100. So any base ten you can directly use on your calculator. The other log button on your calculator is LN. LN means base E. So any base E is understood when you hit the LN button. So let's say we were doing the LN of E. That means E to what power is E? Check that on your calculator. E to the first is E. Also, if you hit LN, that's understood. LN to E, your calculator verifies that is 1. So if you're not doing a base E or a base 10 directly on your calculator, if it's any other base like this base 2, you have to use the change of base rule. Or if it's something you can do that comes out even, you know, like these, can do just in your head, but it, otherwise it's not perfect, and it's not a base 10 or E, you have to do the change of base rule, log the argument, divide the log the base. Alright, so logs and exponents are really the same things. Logs are exponents, it's just you're trying to find, uh, find the exponent when you're doing a log. It's a different expression of an exponent. So logs and exponents are inverses of each other, so that's how chapter 4 starts in this uh, study guide. Chapter 4 starts with inverses.